Steam Padra. Rabbit is a very interesting character because he has a very nice hat. So we have to start off with a big curvy line right at the top of the page. Right, now we're going to draw Murkohead. He is. He's got a beautiful swan-like neck of elegant proportion. And we make the hat out of lines. to draw the face now the next thing we need to do is draw the goggles and these are crucial because when you wear them you can't see and that means you can't see look at the wonder of destiny <laughs> smile of destiny Nose of destiny, eyeballs of destiny, hair of destiny, flower of doom. The most important bit about Steve is that bandana. It's a very beautiful bandana. It has many things on it, like a beautiful flower. The next thing to do is draw the line of the face. Now the face is probably the biggest part of Rabbit and then we have to draw the neck all the way down to here where his body is and it's also a star and a little fishy fish there, there. Rabbit has a very quizzical brow so you have to draw the eyebrows facing different directions with an arrow to show where his nose is and more eyebrows any eyebrows. We're going for a traditional rabbit, so we'll colour in this bit black to show he hasn't got skin around his eyes. Let's see. We draw his beautiful tutu. It's so beautiful. And he's a bit fat on that side. And now he's sassiness. That is sassiness. The interesting thing about rabbit's mouth is that they're actually twin peaks, like two little mountains next to each other with many walkers in between. You have to really emphasize the points by drawing lines. Now they're in their own little box, you can draw the lower lip in silver. Ah! Sam is a very interesting character to draw because of his spectacular moustache. Now the best way to get round this is to use a stencil. The important thing about a rabbit is that nothing multiplies as fast as a rabbit. So now we have to draw many faces. These rabbits are getting increasingly more horrifying due to inbreeding. At some point, a farmer would become concerned that they would eat his cows, and they'll have to cull them. So uh, look, we have to kill the rabbits now. Uh, yeah, kill the rabbits uh, now. Look at the dying rabbits. They're dead. And now I have the blood of a thousand souls on my hands. And his leg. And he has another leg. And your jaw is the cat's eye blowing in the wind. And the but oh, oh no. <laughs> now we have finished the moustache, we have to colour it in. And to do this, we use a colour that I like to call Sunset Sam. Because it is orange, like his moustache. As we know, Sam's moustache. Is ginger. Now we move on to the face. It starts with a nose, then gaze and eyes, and beautiful, soulful eyes that stare into your soul. Uh, uh, no, get rid of it, get rid of it. I've made a huge mistake. How could I make it so stupid? Because, of course, as everybody knows, Michael Reed is actually a very tiny elf that size. But he grows and grows and morphs 
into a huge tornado that rips through Tornado Alley like a tornado. Now once you get past the moustache, there isn't really much else to Sam's face. So this is Hurricane Mocha with a cow trapped in him, destroying the world. So we all put in some eyes. And a hat. And a tiny mouth. And everything you ever cared about. Now I've made a mistake here because I've forgotten to leave space inside the mouth for the teeth. But this is no problem because we could just add the teeth on top. Like so. Eyebrows. Right, now we are going to draw the John. We are going to go for a more realistic approach for the sun. And since the John uses gold paint, this is face paint on his face, we are going to use gold face paint for his face. In the face, race from Spanish. Beautiful. Well, I feel like we've rather underestimated the size of Sam's mouth, so we're going to make it bigger and add big teeth. Today we are going to be drawing the bodiless spine. Yes. Now we have to start with the head. It's the red like an egghead. And then we have to draw the spine, like so. Now what we appear to have drawn is actually the sperm. So I'm going to add some faith, and I'm still not sure we've really made it big enough. So we're going to start at the top of the page, like so, and make sure that we have enough space. So here we go. Now this mouth, I don't need to colour in black, because the sun is inside. So it is light inside. But what I am going to do is add some shading to add a little depth. And now we pay close attention to the tutorial and we're pretty sure we can replicate his face. So we draw this little thing here above the head and put an X and a mouth and then more hair. Yes, I think this is coming along beautifully and accurately. Now what we can now say is that the first mouth we drew is actually his tongue, so we're going to write tongue on here so people know what it is. And there we have drawn Sam, and very thick eyebrows. These are very important. Do not forget the eyebrows, and the eyes, and the hat. Now we draw ears, and then his beautiful golden locks of hair, also blowing beautifully in the breeze, and he has a long neck. Be very careful to draw the nose. Shading is critical. Okay. Lots of face, mouth, eyes, face. Now, I'm not quite sure we've really captured the essence of the spine, so we're going to be adding the vertebrae here, like so. I feel that this is the best way to show what a spine looks like. <laughs> Now, he shaves off all his hair, but he'll grow back very quickly, so make sure you draw it in. And oh, this is, re this is really coming along, actually. I'm, I'm very proud of this so far. So we go all the way down, and because he might be dancing, we're going to have to go the other side. Beautiful. Don't forget the bow tie. This is the most important bit of his body. Just, just, this is beautiful. Look at it. I, I, I think this may well be the most beautiful thing I've honestly ever created in my life. It's just, it's just absolutely fabulous. He has no body. I think he's saying things to me. Put the pins in. Now we're doing this because David has a bad back. And we feel like acupuncture is a very effective treatment. Stunning and oh, what amazing and beautiful. Um, oh, there's something missing. There's something terribly, terribly important missing from this. It's gone a bit wrong. Um, ah, we need to cut it out. We're not.
not very sure where the pain is, so we're going to have to stick them all over. And even in his face, in case his eye hurts, which is, is a common complaint in robots. Now, we appear to have created a hedgehog. Term? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. I've drawn Steve the Parrot from Dodgeball, haven't I? <laughs> This can be fixed. Just draw the little thing there and dreadlocks, dreadlocks. And now, now, look, look, now it's Steve the sound guy. It's not Steve the pirate. It's Steve the not pirate. Okay, okay. Yeah.